For more than a decade, we have been uh, looking at the economic costs and the infrastructure and the things that policymakers really focus on whenever they think about the impacts of climate change. And we realised that that doesn't necessarily motivate people in terms of what they believe the impacts of climate change are. Uh, on an individual uh, basis, people care about things in their back garden and they also care about uh, global icons of uh, climate change. So we realised that the cultural heritage and natural heritage are two really important things that tie people to place and where the impacts of climate change are really going to be felt. If policymakers don't don't take on board and don't realise uh, these cultural dimensions to adaptation, they're going to start implementing adaptation to climate change that is going to have significant negative impacts on the way people feel, uh, on their sense of place and identity, and on their sense of community. Uh, in Australia, we've been looking at uh, a plan for a relocation of the peanut industry from Queensland up to the Northern Territories, and uh, with colleagues from CSIRO, um, and looking at that transformation and how that affects people's sense of place and sense of identity, and uh, the, the uh, negative reactions uh, the barriers to adaptation, the barriers to that transformation that culture uh, represents in that case. I don't think this is a very easy area uh, for policy uh, because if we're looking for blueprints that work across large geographical areas or, or, or national policy areas, I think the difficulty with looking at the cultural impacts of climate change is that they're very place specific and very specific to different communities uh, and the like. And so it's going to take a much more detailed uh, work and even different ways to engage with communities to find what it is that people really care about and therefore the way that uh, that they construct um, their perceptions of risk around climate and therefore the best ways forward uh, at a very local and detailed scale. And I think this is an important aspect of adaptation but one that means that it's probably going to be more expensive, more costly and take a little longer uh, than policymakers who are looking for blueprints uh, normally realise. I mean, one uh, final aspect to this, um, that, that the cultural embeddedness of our relationship with climate is also potentially a huge motivation for action and for change. So there is a positive upside of this, that if, if we can engage with what people actually care about, then this uh, can garner the motivation for action, not only on uh, how we deal with uh, adaptation to climate change and make it more sustainable, but even potentially to give people the motivation to decarbonise the economy, to actually mitigate the impacts of climate change in the first place and, and uh, act uh, as citizens rather than uh, as consumers.